Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the formulas in getting the depreciation value using the different methods of depreciation in Excel. So I have here a straight line method, double declining balance, and sum of the year's digits. So we're going to use the formulas for that and also show you the manual computation in getting the amount. And uh, let's begin with, the, with this example. So I have the cost of the asset, salvage value, and the useful life of the asset in years. So let's begin with the straight line, the easiest one. So I have uh, the formula SLN for that. And it requires the cost of the asset, comma, the salvage value, comma, and then the life of the asset, which is in this case in years. Close it and that's it. That's the amount per year. So you multiply that amount in the useful life of the asset, you get 45,000. You add the salvage value and you will get the total cost of the asset. So uh, very easy in the manual computation. You just need to have the, the cost of the asset minus the salvage value, close that, and divide it on the number of years. And that's it. That's the same. So let's move on with the double declining balance. So in here, the depreciation amount is higher on the earlier years of the asset and uh, lower on the, the later years of the asset. So in this case, we're going to use a helper cell for that. I'm going to use a factor for that, which is 2. Uh, we're going to need that in a formula. And I have here the per period because the depreciation amount varies per, per year, unlike the straight line. So let's begin with uh, the formula DDB. And it requires the cost of the asset, comma, the salvage value, and then comma, the life of the asset, comma, and then the period. The period is dependent on the year that you are working on. Comma, the factor is uh, optional, but let's put two on that, which is which means double. And then close it. Lock the uh, cost of the asset, the salvage value, the life, and also the, the factor. And that's it. Copy and paste that. You have that depreciation per year. Get the sum of it. You get uh, the same thing, 45,000 here. So let's compute that using uh, the manual computation, the way the computation or the method should be computed without Excel formula. So the first thing is you're going to need a rate for that, which means, um, which is uh, technically doubling the straight line uh, method rates. So in this case, uh, for example, you get this and uh, multiply it by the, the, the asset minus the salvage value, you, you get a rate of 20% per year. And in this case, we're just going to need to double that. So to do that, just have uh, one period, that's the one period, and then divide that by the total life of the asset, multiply it by 2. You then use the helper cell on that, and you get the rate to be used on the double declining, which is 0.4. And this rate here, we're going to be using that in uh, to be multiplied on the book value of the asset per year. So in the first year, of course, you're going to need the, the cost of the asset multiplied by the rate. That's the first one, and that's the same thing here. So the book value at the end of the first year will be the cost of the asset minus, I'm going to use an expandable cell for, uh, expandable range for that because we're going to copy and paste that, which is uh, minus the depreciation amount. And that's it. Close it. And uh, lock this part, also this part. Okay. Now on the second year, we're going to need the rate again. Lock it and uh, multiplied by the book value and that's it now when you copy and paste that and also the book value but at the end of the fifth year that's different you're gonna need the book value minus minus the salvage value here that's the last year so you're gonna use the remaining amount and that's it which is the same as the amount computed in the double declining balance formula get the sum of it that's it this is the salvage value at the end of its year and that's it that's the double declining now let's proceed with the third one the last one which is 
the sum of the year's digits. So in this case, you're going to compute the depreciation by getting all of the sum of the year. So in this case, we're going to need this and get the sum of it. That's it. And every year, you're going to need a rate for that. For the first year, you're going to need a 5 divided by 15 multiplied by the cost minus the salvage value and so on. That's it. We're going to compute that later on. But let's use the formula SYD, which is sum of the year's digit, uh, open parenthesis, and it requires the cost of the asset, comma, the salvage value, comma, the life, and the period. The per is the period. And that's it. Now, uh, properly lock the cost, salvage, value, and life. And copy and paste that. And you have that. That's the depreciation amount per year. So, uh, when you get some of it, that's the same thing here. So, let's compute it manually. As I've said, the rate for the first year is 5 divided by 15. That's it. So, we're going to use this as a uh, Help yourself here minus one, like five, four, three, two, one. And uh, first is to get the rate, which is five divided by 15, multiplied by the cost of the asset minus the salvage value. Lock this part, and that's it. But what else? Lock this part. And okay, you got this, copy and paste that, and you have the same amount here. And that's it. That's how you compute uh, different uh, methods of depreciation and also using the formula, which is very easy to use, very convenient. And that's it. I'm finished here. I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time. And thanks.